Although horse meat is not popular in Europe and is typically seen as a riding animal, in China, donkeys have become a way for over 3 million farmers to escape poverty. Today, leave a number one and join me in visiting a donkey farm to see how they process donkeys. Donkey farming in China is a crucial part of the country's agriculture, particularly in regions like the northwest and southwest, where the climate and soil conditions are favorable. China accounts for about 60% of the world's total donkey population, with an estimated 6 million donkeys. Areas such as Inner Mongolia, Xinjiang, and the southwest provinces have the highest rates of donkey farming. Donkey farming contributes about $1 billion annually to China's agricultural economy. This income is crucial for millions of people, especially in rural areas like Inner Mongolia, Xinjiang, and the southwest provinces, where approximately 2.5 million donkeys are raised. As of 2024, with China's population around 1.4 billion, over 3 million people are involved in donkey farming. Each household can earn between $1,000 and $3,000 per year from selling donkeys. Additionally, the care of donkeys, including services like hoof trimming and disease treatment, generates around $200 million in annual revenue. The donkey farming model in China is primarily concentrated in regions such as Inner Mongolia, Xinjiang, and the southwest provinces. Currently, there are about 10,000 donkey farms in China. Inner Mongolia has the highest number of farms, with over 3,000. These farms are typically situated in the dry, cold climate of northern China and the plateau regions. Donkeys are usually housed in separate pens, each accommodating 10 to 20 animals. The pens are kept clean, with dry grass used to maintain hygiene. The surrounding area is designed to be well ventilated, ensuring optimal living conditions for the donkeys and promoting their healthy growth. The breeding season for donkeys in China typically runs from spring to early summer when the weather is warm and environmental conditions are favorable. Chinese farmers select donkey breeds based on factors such as health, reproductive performance, and physical characteristics. Female donkeys weigh around 800 to 1,000 pounds and generally have a robust appearance with well-developed muscles and a shiny coat. Male donkeys, weighing between 900 and 1,200 pounds, also need to have a muscular build, clear muscle definition, and a gentle temperament to ensure successful mating.
Once suitable breeds are chosen, farmers can find the donkeys in separate pens for mating. A female donkey is pregnant for about 11 to 14 months before giving birth. At birth, donkey foals typically weigh between 50 and 60 pounds. However, in Inner Mongolia, China, there have been reports of foals weighing up to 75 pounds, a remarkable size for newborns. Isn't it impressive to see a foal reach such a weight right at birth? Let me know your thoughts. The diet of donkeys in China is carefully managed to ensure their health and productivity. Donkeys are fed three times a day, morning, noon, and evening. Their main food is dry hay, especially timothy or alfalfa hay, which provides essential fiber and nutrients. In addition to hay, donkeys are given supplementary feeds such as bran and vitamins. Water is a crucial part of their diet. During the summer months or when temperatures exceed 85 degrees Fahrenheit, farmers must ensure that donkeys always have access to clean water to prevent dehydration and maintain good health. Donkeys are raised for about 18 to 24 months before they are ready for slaughter. During this time, they reach a weight of approximately 900 to 1,200 pounds. Once they attain the desired weight and size, the donkeys are processed for food purposes. Donkey meat has a slightly sweet flavor and tender texture, valued for its tenderness and lower fat content compared to other meats. Donkey meat processing plants are primarily located in northern and northwestern provinces such as Inner Mongolia, Xinjiang, and Hebei. The meat is processed to be used as an ingredient in traditional restaurants. In local eateries, especially in areas like Hohat and Uremi, donkey meat is commonly prepared for traditional dishes like donkey hot pots. The price of donkey meat typically ranges from $20 to $30 per pound, comparable to premium beef prices. Have you ever tried donkey meat? Let me know in the comments. In China, Donkey hides are primarily used to produce donkey hide gelatin. Research shows that donkey hides contain beneficial compounds such as collagen, elastin, and peptides that are good for human health. Collagen and elastin in donkey hides help improve skin elasticity and firmness.
workers collect the hides, clean them, and remove impurities. The hides are then simmered for an extended period to extract the liquid compounds, which are mixed with nutritious ingredients. Donkey hide gelatin typically costs between $200 and $400 per pound. Farmers in China also exploit donkey milk for commercial purposes, known for its mild and slightly sweet flavor. Donkey milk is rich in vitamins, minerals, and immunoglobulins, which help boost the immune system and is priced between $20 and $50 per liter. It is primarily sold in Inner Mongolia and Xinjiang. People in these regions often have smooth and radiant skin, thanks to the inclusion of donkey milk in their diet and skincare products. Welcome to the world of strawberry lovers. In Japan, the peak season for strawberry processing plants is typically in May and June. Strawberries are brought into the facility, washed to remove dirt, and then canned for distribution. Strawberries are the key ingredient in the famous strawberry cream cake from Fukuoka, Japan. The process begins with preparing the cake base. Flour, eggs, sugar, and butter are mixed together and baked in a pan at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes to create soft, airy layers. Once the cake layers are cooled, they are sliced thinly. Each layer is spread with fresh cream and juicy strawberries, blending the sweetness of the fruit with the richness of the cream. To finish, the cake is decorated with fresh strawberries on top, adding an attractive appearance and delightful flavor. Let's visit the strawberry fields in Fukuoka, Japan. Here, strawberries are grown in greenhouses to control optimal temperature and humidity. Young plants are planted in pots filled with a soil and fertilizer mixture. Strawberries are typically harvested in the spring, about six to eight months after planting. When the strawberries reach a ripe, deep red color, they are ready to be picked. Farmers hand harvest the strawberries to ensure the fruit remains undamaged. The ripe strawberries are carefully packed into boxes, with each fruit protected to prevent bruising during transport. Japanese strawberries are not only consumed domestically but also packaged for export.
Each year, approximately 5,000 tons of strawberries are exported to international markets, including the United States and South Korea.